caring for your guide or service dog, fur and teeth. Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad to get back to creating videos for you guys. I've just gotten a new camera and I thought I'd go ahead while I was grooming the dogs today and show you the supplies and tools that we use to groom the dogs. With a guide or service dog that's going to be out in public, it is important to brush their hair and take care of their coat and brush their teeth at least daily. Okay guys, check it out. These are our new patio chairs. Oh, I'm so excited. There's my phone. <laughs> and we have these pretty lights and then we're gonna put up a second set of lights. This is Katie's like semi-brilliant idea was to put up a second set of lights so we could just plug in whichever one we want for different moods. So we've ended up deciding to go with just the two chairs and the three-person couch for now. And we have one little ottoman that we're gonna use as a table, although I think we're gonna add a second ottoman. And I'm just out here to do some grooming on the dogs because it has literally been raining for about a week and it's finally nice outside. So, let's get to it. Casa, Figgy, come here, Fig. Come. Good boy. Should we brush you? Okay. This is Picasa. She is my retired guide dog. She's seven years old. Hi, Casa. Hi, honey girl. She hates cameras, you guys. She will turn and look away from any camera if you're looking at her. So I'm going to start with her since she is conveniently right here. Hi, Casa. And basically, I'm going to start with this blue rubber brush, and it's called a Zoom Groom. Looks like this. The dogs always think that it's a toy, but basically what you wanna do with the zoom groom is you wanna go in circular motions all around their hair. Now the zoom groom isn't as effective for Picasa as it is for Figaro. And Picasa has some allergies, so you'll probably see her itching, because anytime we groom it makes her more itchy. And she says, oh I hate that so much. So. I'll try to show you some of Picasso's grooming and some of Figgy's grooming, although it's pretty much the same routine. Now, I like to do this outside so that when I'm brushing their hair and when it comes off, it'll kind of blow into the yard. Sometimes I'll do it in the yard, but I really didn't want to go down into the yard because it's probably very wet still from all the rain we've been getting. So I will do the Zoom Groom. Gosh, I don't know. You can't over zoom groom. So I'll probably do the zoom groom from five to probably about five minutes, I think, for Picasa. And then I use what's called a furminator. You see how the hair is building up in there? So what happens is as you get more hair, more hair will collect. So it kind of builds on static. Oh, she's itchy. She's like, ugh, quit brushing me there, lady. So, see that? So you can see that the hair is kind of building up and as it builds up, it will kind of clump together, which is nice because then it's easier to clean out the, the brush. All right, so here's this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish brushing her with the Zoom Groom and then I'll come back and show you how we brush her with the Furminator and I'll give some tips around that because the Furminator, you wanna be a bit careful. Big girl, big girl, say hi. <laughs> Okay, so we have Zoom groomed Picasa. Hers has to go in stages because she gets pretty uncomfortable from any brushing. So I'm doing Figaro's Zoom groom now. And his, oh man, his responds well to the Zoom groom. It's crazy. So what I meant to say, he's got Picasa's hair all over him too. But what I meant to say earlier is that one of the things that the Zoom groom does primarily is with these little rubber spiky things. They're not really spiky, they're soft, but they will bring up any hair that's already loose and dead and needs to be removed out of the coat and the undercoat. So um, this is a great starting point. You cannot over zoom groom where you can over ferminate. So you can use the zoom groom daily with your dog. It's just a great tool. And Figaro, at least, loves it. Now, Picasso has a bit sensitive, a bit of a sensitive um, coat. 
and skin so she doesn't love it as much and as you saw it does make her a bit itchy but Figgy he's just chilling Fig do you like this <laughs> he's like asleep already all right so I'm just doing circles with the zoom groom on Figaro's back and body and I am going to go ahead and finish that do a few more minutes of zoom groom you can hear the static I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's cool. You can hear the static, which helps the hair to come into the brush. Um, so I will go ahead and do some more brushing with the Zoom Groom, and then I will show you also using the Furminator, probably on both dogs, but we'll see what happens. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you how I would use the Furminator. I'm actually not going to end up using this much today. Um, as you can see probably on the screen, Fig actually has a lot of dandruffy, dead skin sort of stuff. And I've talked with his trainers and such about that. Um, and his body's just going through transitioning from one environment to another. Um, so basically with the Furminator, you go along the growth of the hair. And now what the Furminator does is different from the Zoom Groom. So the Furminator actually kind of pulls and cuts some of that undercoat out. And so you have to be very careful about how often you're using it and how you're using it. Because you don't want to harm their coat, obviously. So usually we only use this at the height of shedding times, maybe once every two weeks. And during the rest of the year, probably once a month, maybe. I don't know. Um, and what they did tell me about the dandruffy, flaky skin is to actually increase how much I'm brushing him from once a day to twice a day so that we will encourage those natural oils to disperse along his coat and help the dandruff. So there you go. That's basically what it does. For some reason Picasso's body, her fur responds better to the Furminator than it does the Zoom Groom. Although today I was able to get a decent amount with the Zoom Groom. So that's great. And Figaro, I'm going to go ahead and brush their teeth also and I'll try to show that. That's a little bit more difficult to do and film on my own so we'll see what I can get. <laughs> we gonna brush your teeth? Are we gonna brush your teeth? <laughs> oh no he got the screen. Okay let's brush your teeth that's probably still messy. So I prefer the brush toothbrushes. Guys let me get your toothpaste on here. Back up Casa. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the toothpaste to the toothbrush. This is gonna be really difficult to do with one hand. Figgy, I haven't put it on there yet. <laughs> My guys really love this, so I'm just gonna try and do this and film with one hand. And you wanna get it around all of the arteries. Good luck with that. Now normally what I would do is I would sit behind him and have him between my two legs so that I could kind of control his body a little bit by holding him still. And then I have a bit more control where the toothbrush goes. In this case, he's moving all around because he wants to eat the toothpaste. Is it good? So I'm just kind of at his, uh, at his discretion here. I'm just trying to get, oh, he's got it all over his face. I'm just trying to get it as many places on his teeth as I can with one hand. So first recommendation, use both hands. Do not try to video record while you brush the teeth. Good boy. Did you get all of it? Oh man, you're so slobbery. I'll go through and wipe his face off with a wet cloth. No big deal. Good boy. 
So I wanted to share with you guys that this is an enzymatic toothpaste. It is called Enzident. Ours is in the poultry flavor, and my guys absolutely love it. They almost kind of see it as a treat. So I will link it down below if I'm able. And if you guys are interested in it, you can go ahead and get it for yourselves. Gotta keep those pretty teeth clean. Nice and clean. Yeah, so pretty, so handsome. Keep that breath under control, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna get a different toothbrush and go ahead and do Picasso's teeth. I was able to brush Picasso's teeth as well, one of her favorite treats, but I decided not to film hers since it wasn't the easiest of tasks to film with one hand while brushing their teeth. I will link the products we use in the description below. If you would like to join me for more lifestyle and mommy topic videos, DIYs and crafts, hauls, and disability and guide service dog related videos, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications. Join us on our journey on Facebook at Chronicles of a Crafty Blind Chick or This Guide's Life and on Instagram at Crafty Blind Chick.